So it's through believing in Jesus Christ, believing in who he is, believing in what he has done, we will see what we believe. Amen. We will see what we believe. So faith is knowing who God is and what he has done. I have faith in what he has done. I have faith in what he has done. Amen. I believe what he has done. Amen. And what he has done has given me a lasting and whole life. Say it with me. A lasting, a lasting and, whole life. and whole life. So what are the principles to believing is seeing? What are the principles? Number one, believing God is getting a revelation or an understanding of what it means to trust God. Amen. I get an understanding and a revelation of what it means to trust God. Number two, trusting and believing God is the foundation for every believer. Amen. Trusting and believing God is the foundation for every believer. Number three, trusting God is knowing that God knows what is best for me. God knows what is best for me. Trusting and believing God and his word produces supernatural results. Amen. Yes, it does. I know, I trust, I believe yes. God when there is contentment and peace in my life. All right. All right. All right. And number six, I enjoy my life. All right. <laughs> he came that I might have life and have it that more abundantly. Life to the full until it overflows. Yeah, amen, yeah. In other words, when I get to one level, God always blows my mind through faith by taking me to another level. Amen. When I think I have achieved and got to one place, God always takes me to another place. He takes me to a place of unexpectancy. He takes me to a place where I never thought I could be. And listen, he does this through the element of faith. I want to tell you that through the element of faith, you can have whatever you desire. You can have whatever you dream. And when you get there, listen, and when you get to that place, God will always take you to another level. All right. But he can only take you to that level through faith. He can only take you to the next level through faith. For without faith, it is impossible to please God. And the only thing I'm trying to get you to do today is to believe God. Somebody said, I believe God. I believe God. So I like this little adage. It said, I found this. It says, never let what your eyes see determine what your heart believes. Amen. That's good. In other words, what do I see around me? And what I see is not the reality. What I see is not my reality. What I see is not my reality. For only what I believe is my reality. All right. Amen. And I believe what I believe by faith. Amen. How do I get faith? I get faith through the word of God. I always say it this way. No word, no faith. Amen. What do I believe in? How do I know I believe it? I know what I believe through the word of God. Where there is a lack of God's word, there is a lack of belief. Amen. Where there is a lack of God's word, there is a lack of faith. And where there is a lack of faith and a lack of belief, I believe in my reality. I believe in what I see. That now becomes my reality. But I want to I, I want to suggest to you today that you can live in your belief. You can, you can live in what you see, or you can, you can live in what you don't see. If I live in what I don't see, I will have what I don't see. Did that, did that confuse you? In other words, I develop what I want by the word of God. It's just like, you remember the old Polaroid pictures? Y'all remember the y'all some of y'all too young to remember you remember the you remember the instant instant pictures? Huh? The Polaroid Polaroid came out with a system where 
They, you put the film in the camera and you took the picture and it said, cha -ching. It came out through the bottom, right? So what do you have to do? You, you, you had to what? Shake? You're waiting for the film to develop. Listen, you believe that what you took a picture of was going to come out on that piece of paper. What did you do? You believe. You did what? Believe. You believe that whatever you took a picture of was going to come out on that piece of paper, right? Yes, sir. It's the same thing in faith. You take a picture of your future. And when you took a picture of your future, you used the word to shake it out. Now faith is the substance of of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And when you, you believe that when you finish quoting that scripture and you look down at the picture, it's going to be exactly what you took a picture of. That's how faith works. I have determined in my mind that I'm going to live by what I don't see. In other words, did you see the picture before it got developed? No. You didn't see the picture before it got developed. But how did the picture get developed? The picture got developed through time. The picture got developed through the waving of the air hitting the process, making the film develop. So it's the same thing in faith. The word takes your future and blows on it. And while it's blowing on it, you expect to receive what you have not seen. And when the picture finished developing, you're going to see exactly what you took a picture of. I challenge you today to take a picture of how you want your marriage to be. I dare you to take a picture of how you want your finances to be. I dare you to take a picture of how you want your children to be. And as you determine what you want it to be, you take the word to develop the film. When you finish developing the film, when the film finishes developing, it will turn out the way that you didn't see. It will turn out the way you didn't see. So never let your eyes see. Never let what your eyes see determine what you, what what is in your heart, amen, or what your heart believes. So Hebrews 11 and 1 says, the fundamental fact of existence is that this trust in God, this faith, is the firm foundation, is the what? Is the firm foundation under everything that makes life worth living. It's our handle on what we can't see. It's our handle on what? On what we can't see. The act of faith is what distinguished our ancestors, set them above the crowd. So faith is the fundamental foundation of what every believer should be established on. And listen, the Bible says, as it did for our ancestors, it sets you above it sets you above the crowd. Yes, Lord. If you're going to be exceptional, mm -hmm. if you're going to see your dreams become a reality, mm -hmm. if you're not going to settle for life in the mediocre realm, right. you've got to have the foundation of faith. Right. In other words, it's what I stand on. I stand on the word. Why? Because the word is my foundation. I build upon the foundation of the word. And when I build on the foundation of the word, listen, there is nothing I can't believe God for. That's it. That's Amen. it, sir. There is nothing I can't believe God for because my foundation is sure. My foundation is sure. The only reason why these walls are standing in this building is because this building has a foundation. Mm -hmm. And when you have a foundation, you can build upon that foundation. That's why we have a roof because... This building has a foundation. It's the same way with your faith. When your faith has a foundation, you can build upon. But if I don't have a foundation that's built on the word of God, I'm going to build my foundation on other things. 
And if I build my foundation on the world, the world will say that you're going to be divorced in so many years. The world will say that you're broke, busted, and disgusted. The world will say you have a, a, a attention deficit disorder. The world would say that you cannot obtain this because you're African American. The world would say you can't do this because you don't have the education. The world would say you can't do this because your credit score is not good enough. The world would say you can never do this and you can never. But the word says because I have a solid foundation, I can build on what the word say and not what the world say. So my challenge to you is, who do you believe? What do you believe? Do you believe that what you see is reality or what you don't see is a reality? Amen. I choose to believe that what I don't see has become my reality. Amen. They say, oh, you're nothing but a dream. I said, but you don't know my dreams are my reality. Amen. You don't understand that what I have seen in my future, if I believe God long enough and if I have a foundation, if I keep on believing... If I keep on standing on the word of God, God is going to come through for me. I want to tell you today that God has never failed me and God has never let me down. As long as I stood steadfast, unmovable, and always abounding in the work of the Lord, my labor in God has not been in vain. I want to tell you today that your labor in the word will not be in vain. You got to keep on and you got to be consistent in the word because it has not come to pass. That doesn't mean it ain't going to come to pass. That's it, sir. That's it. Amen. I want to stand above the crowd. I don't want to be with everybody else. I don't want to be just a regular believer who come to church and go home and go to work and go home and go to work and come home and draw a check and have and, and just be live. A, no, I want to live at another level. Amen. My God, live at another Amen. level. Yes. So the principle of believing is seeing. What do you believe? The outcome of our lives is determined by what we believe. The outcome of your life is determined by what you believe. That's good, sir. The outcome of your life is determined by what you believe. You are where you are because of what you believe. Wow, wow, wow. Jesus. Y'all don't want to say amen on that one, but I'm telling you. Yeah, the outcome of our lives. What 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 differentiates you? What differentiates differentiates the haves from the have not? It is faith. Faith. Come on, sir. It is what they have chose. I pray somebody choose today. I, it is what you choose to believe. Do you believe that your situation that you're in right now? It's just how it's going to be. It's just how it's got. I don't believe that. No, sir. No, Not for myself. Amen. I don't believe that where I am is where I have to stay. Amen. Amen. We will act on what we believe. Amen. You only act on what you believe. If you don't believe it, you won't act on it. Right. If there is no revelation of faith, Mediocrity will become the standard by which we live our, live our lives. Amen. If there is no revelation of faith, that's why I'm teaching faith. Because if there is no revelation of faith, mediocrity will become the standard by which we live our lives. Amen. The determining factor, number 10, the determining factor that places an individual above negative circumstances is their faith in God. That is the determining factor. The determining factor is not your circumstances. Amen. The determining factor is the word of God. Somebody said the word of God. Word of God. Somebody said the word, of God. the word of God. I want to tell you that the word of God overcomes negative circumstances. Yes, yes. yes it does. Amen. There is no circumstance. There is no demonic force. There is no principality. There is nothing that is stronger than the word of God. And I say it this way, number 11, there is no power stronger than faith in God. There is no power stronger than the faith in God, than your faith in God. Number 12, God wants to determine his power through us by faith. God is looking for someone to show himself strong in. Will it be you? Amen. Somebody lift your hand and say, God, it, you can use me. You can use me. 
Say, use my faith to change my life. Use your word to change my life. I'll be the one. I'll enlist. I'll sign up. I'll go for it. Send me. I'll go. Somebody said, my faith is releasing me into my destiny. I'm going to have the kind of life that I always dreamed of. Where I am now, I'm not going to stay. I've been here long enough. It's time to release my faith. I'm a word person. I'm a faith person. I have determined to go forth in my faith. Seeing is not believing. Believing is seeing. You see things not as they are, but as you are. Thank you, God. Wow. Amen. How do you see yourself? What do you believe when you ain't in church? Jesus. Oh yeah. Okay. Now, can we get down to the determining fact? What? 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 Yeah. I. I. I, I got faith at two thirty-three South Adam Street. I got faith when praise and worship is going for. I got faith when the bishop is preaching. I got faith on Wednesday night. But do you have faith Sunday afternoon? Come on now. My God. Do you have faith Monday morning? Yes, sir. Do you have faith at 12 o'clock noon on Monday? 6 o'clock noon on Monday? Tuesday. Oh, you got faith on Wednesday because it's Bible study. Do you have faith on Thursday? Do you have faith on Friday? Do you have faith on Saturday or did you stop after you left the service? Jesus. Teaching here, sir. Teaching here. Because what I believe trumps what I heard. Wow. Oh, yeah, it trumps what you're. You got faith right now. But my circumstances is telling me, is speaking to me, is shouting to me, is, 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 is trying to dictate to me not to have faith. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because if I keep on looking at what I see, I'm not going to ever believe where I'm going. In other words, when I accept, that's all the enemy wants you to do, is to accept. The negative circumstance. Except being single. And you don't want to be single. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Except being broke. And you don't want to be broke. Come on, Bishop. Except a bad marriage. And you don't want a bad marriage. Come on, sir. Except not being promoted. Except not have. He wants you to accept that because he wants you to keep on looking at what you looking at. Oh right. my God. I feel like preaching right now. But can you look at what you're looking at and look past what you're looking at? Jesus. When you can look past what you're looking at and see faith in what you don't see, then you will have what you don't see. But long as you keep on looking at what you're looking at, you got to stop looking at what you're looking at. Tell my tell somebody, stop looking at what you're looking at. Tell them, don't believe what you're looking at. Don't receive what you're looking at. Don't accept what you're looking at. Look at the word. Look at God. For the, the Bible says Jesus, for the joy that was set before him, looked past what he was in and saw the joy of the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Can I look past? Can I look past? Can I look past my pain? Can I look past being molested? Can I look past being raped? Can I look past being abused? Can I look past being rejected? Right. If I can look past that and see the word of God, I'm telling you, you coming out victorious. On, when you look up, the thing that had you bound wow. is going to have to release you. Thank I you. came to preach to somebody today that your release is in the word. Yeah. I came to tell you so today that greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. We don't live in our realm of feeling and emotions. We live in God's reality called faith. It's called faith, man. We live in God's reality.
called faith. Amen. I want to ask you today, where do you live? Mm, you. Do you live in the reality of your emotions? Mm. Do you live in the reality of how you feel? Well, I don't feel like praising God. I don't feel like praying. But you got to go beyond that. Yes, sir. I don't feel like fasting, but you got to go beyond that. Yes, I don't feel like worshiping God, but you got to go beyond that. And faith says, I see you as God sees you. Yes. Teach. Faith says, I see you victorious. Yes. Listen, faith is not an emergency kit that you use when you get in an emergency. Now I've got to release my faith. Now i got, now I got to have faith. No, we live by faith. We walk by faith and not by sight. What does living by faith mean? It, say, it says, I see the victory even though defeat is present. I win when I'm losing. I'm the underdog, but to God, I'm the victor. Amen. The enemy count me out, but God counted me in. Yes, sir. Yes. The enemy says, you're down on the canvas, and they're getting ready to count the ten, but God says, by faith, you're getting up again. Amen. By faith, I will live, and by faith, I will decree. By faith, I will declare what I am going to be before I get there. Amen. Yes, sir. I don't live in the reality. I don't live in the realm of my feelings and my emotions, yes, but I live in God's reality called faith. Amen. James 2 and 21 says this in the Message Bible. Wasn't our ancestor Abraham made right with God by works when he placed his son Isaac, the sacrificial altar, on the sacrificial altar? Isn't it obvious that faith and works are yoked patterns, are part, yoked partners? Mm -hmm. That faith expresses itself in works. That the works are works of faith. Say this with me. The full meaning, the full meaning of, belief of belief in the scripture, in the scripture. Sentence, sentence. Abraham, Abraham believed God, believe God and was set right, was set right. With, God with God includes, includes his, action. his action. It's the mesh of believing and acting that got Abraham named God's friend. It is not evident that a person is made right with God, not by a barren faith, but by faith fruitful in works. Faith fruitful in what? Works. In works. So these principles apply to what I just read. Faith is doing what you believe. Faith is following God's instructions. Faith does not deviate from God's given instruction. Every act of obedience, every act of obedience carries a reward. Amen. Faith knows God will provide. Amen. He will protect and he will preserve those who trust his word. Amen. Faith does not question the process. Yep. Faith responds, fear retreats. Faith does not consider the outcome. I'm not worried about the outcome because I know God already has the outcome. Yes. Faith knows God has your back. Yes. And number 22, faith will never allow you to fail. In Hebrews 11 and 7, it says, By faith, Noah built a ship in the middle of dry land. Say it with me. He was warned, he was warned. about something. Uh, he, couldn't see. he couldn't see and acted, and acted on, what he was told. on what he was told. The result, his family was saved. Mm -hmm. His act of faith drew a sharp line between the evil of the unbelieving world and the rightness of, of the believing world. As a result, Noah became intimate with God. Noah became what? Intimate. Intimate. With God through his what? Through his faith. Last scripture, Hebrews 11 and 5. I'm going to close with this. By an act of faith, Enoch skipped death completely. They looked all over and couldn't find him because God had taken him. 
We know on the basis of reliable testimony that before he was taken, he pleased God. It is impossible to please God apart from faith. And why say it with me? Because anyone who wants to approach God must believe both that he exists and that he cares enough to respond to those who seek him. God cares enough to respond to you seeking him. When I seek God in his word, it shows God that I trust him more than I trust my circumstances. When I seek God in his word, I am standing on a firm foundation. And listen to this. God is obligated now to help me. God does not help those who are not in faith. It seems like he does because he reigns on the just and, and as well as the unjust. But I came to tell you today that everything I have received has been, I have received it by faith. And how do I know that my faith has touched God? Because I was diligent when I didn't see it. Yes. 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 I call, listen, I call those things that be not as though they were. When my marriage was bad and I was on the verge of the divorce, I did not look at the divorce. I did not look at the circumstances. I did not look at what was taking place, but I stood on the word. And when things were not going the way I wanted them to go, I kept on speaking the word of God. I kept on saying the word of God, knowing that my circumstances was getting worse, but my word life was getting better. When your word life get better, yes. you can expect a change. Yes. Yes. When your standard changes on the word of God and you say, I'm going to believe God no matter what. I don't care what is coming. I don't care what has come. I don't, what, I don't care what has went. And I don't care what's getting ready to happen. My word life is going to get me where I got to go. Yes. Amen. Amen. He not believe God. He was walking with God by faith. I want you to see this. Every day, he's walking by faith. Every day, he's talking to God. Every day, he's standing on the word. And listen, because he was walking with God and standing on his word, every day, God said, I see his faith. Amen. Amen. Right. right. Did y'all hear what I say? Yeah. No, he didn't say, I, I know his faith. He said, I see. see his faith. Amen. When God can see your faith. Amen. When God, listen, when God can see you in that word, when God knows that the word, his word is more valuable to you than anything else, when God knows that you value his word over everything that you're going through right now, you can change where you are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I decided to change where I was. I don't want to just have a good marriage. I want to have an exceptional marriage. My, my, my. I don't want to have just good kids. I want to have exceptional kids. Exceptional kids. I don't want to have just a good church. I want an exceptional church. I don't want people around me who are mediocre. I want people around me to challenge me. My God. I want word people around me. Yes. I want people who is going to make me spread my wings. Yes. I want to make. I want to be around people who challenge me. I want to be around people who exalt the name of God. Yes, 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 Jesus, sir. Yes, Jesus. Who are we hanging around? Who are we believing in? It's the Word of God. And the last thing I want to tell you is that Enoch, as he walked with God, God saw his faith. I want to challenge you that don't let a day go by. Without getting in God's word. And as you get in God's word. You get closer to the promise. Come on brother Darius for a minute. I'm going to show you this and I'm going to let you go.